Hey everyone, Arn Hawaii here to teach you how to use NDI to capture something from one computer and broadcast it on another one. Here we go. All right, so the end goal of this first step is to be able to click the plus in the sources list and find NDI source as an option for you. The way you're gonna do that is by downloading a couple things. I'm gonna open up this site and the link will be available in the description below. But this is the page that you're looking for. All right, and then once you're here, you can skip all the way down to this set of links. And uh, if you're a Windows user, you're going to download this zip. Once you've got it, you'll open it up and it will show you uh, a couple folders. Now you're gonna wanna be able to copy stuff from these folders and paste them onto your local system. So one way I do it is I just click File, Open New Window, and it's gonna open basically a duplicate uh, of the of the uh, window that you're in right now. So now I'm gonna go to my actual system and I'm gonna find the program file folder that OBS is operating from. So I'm gonna go to my C drive, program files, and look for OBS-studio, open that up, and then you'll notice there's some similarities between these two. So your zip has OBS plugins, local system has it, data, local system has that folder. So let's start in the data folder. I'm going to double click that in the zip and then I'm just going to double click OBS plugins and there it is, OBS-NDI. I'm going to copy that whole folder. Then go through the same path, data, OBS plugins, and then just paste the folder in here. Now let's go back to the roots for both of these and now we'll go OBS plugins. I've got the same folder here, let's open that up. We have 32 and 64 bit, so let's start at 32. Copy this DLL file, go into 32 in your local system, paste the DLL. I've already done it, which is why I'm not clicking. And then let's go back, do the same for 64. Copy this DLL, go into 64 here, paste the DLL, and then that part is done. All right, once you've finished that part, you're gonna scroll up a little bit, find the link that says download and install the NDI 3.8 plus runtime. Click that, run the program, install it, finish the installer, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so if everything was done correctly, you should be able to restart OBS, add an NDI source, and you're ready to rock and roll for that part. Now you need to do this on both computers, the broadcast computer and the computer that you want to capture, whether that's the computer that you're going to play your actual game on or something like that. And the benefit here is that you are saving resources for your processor by not playing the game that you want to stream and streaming on the same system, right? You can play your game on one computer, broadcast from another computer, and each of their uh, hardware is only being used to do the one thing instead of both. All right, now before we do the rest of the software part of this, I just wanna demonstrate really quickly with my crappy text layers here, uh, what your setup is going to look like as far as the hard connection between them. So you have ethernet running from your streaming computer to your router uh, that is uh, getting the internet so that you can stream out. You're also gonna take your gaming computer and connect it over ethernet to that same hub. So they're both sharing the router, which is gonna create a local area network or LAN network between the two computers for you. And then obviously that modem is gonna be connected to your internet so that you can play your online game on the gaming computer and you can stream your stream from the streaming computer to Twitch or the whatever other service. Now, if this seems way too simple, it's because it is simple. So there you go. Now let's move on to the final steps. All right, so we'll start at our gaming computer. We'll open up OBS, go to Tools, and NDI Output Settings. Once you're there, check the main output box, which will allow you to name it something. And let's name it something. I'm just gonna name it Gaming Comp. It's easy enough to remember, and you'll click OK. So now you would add your game in OBS on your gaming PC the way you would uh, normally. Now once you've done that, go over to your streaming PC and in OBS, you'll add an NDI source. 
you'll click this source name drop down and there should be an item there it should be exactly what you named it and it would probably be the only one unless you've connected more PCs than just the one so click that everything else looks fine click OK and there's your game you'll notice you also get the audio from your gaming PC which is nice because then you can control those levels on your streaming computer so you'd go ahead and add your game however you add it to your layout uh, when you're streaming and you've done it you've captured the audio and the video from a gaming computer and brought it over to a streaming computer to be able to save on your resources when playing your game thanks for watching if this video was useful click the like button if you want to see more click subscribe uh, follow me on twitch at twitch.tv slash and i'll see you around